Hey, it's John from Rain King LLC. This is a short presentation on how institutions accumulate stock and driving the price and how do they liquidate big positions in a model book stock. So how does this actually work in the marketplace? Well, this chart is trying to show a number of things. The time frame we're looking here is a 12 to 20 month period of time for a model book stock to make a big move. And on the left side, we have price levels. The black line represents the price of the stock. The dotted red line is the 50 day moving average. And you'll see that I've drawn a series of yellow bases on the run up. So let's assume that a mutual fund, a growth mutual fund, wants to own 750,000 shares of the stock at a price under $50 per share. Their research department has told them that this stock could be worth over $200 per share. So how are they gonna build a position and then eventually liquidate that large position? Well, let's take a look. Now within the first base, a primary base, a stage one base, the institution will start to accumulate. In this case, we'll say they assume they buy 100,000 shares towards their 750,000 share target. The stock breaks out, but then it pulls back down to the pivot and creating a, a short-term shakeout. The institution will use that shakeout to accumulate another 100,000 shares. As the stock starts to recover and move up and truly break out, part of that move is driven by this institution buying another 100,000 shares on the move up. The stock continues to advance and we'll see an analyst downgrade. These can be mysterious. People don't understand sometimes why there's downgrades and what they really mean. In this case, the downgrade creates some pricing pressure on the stock and the stock pulls in. It eventually pulls in all the way down to the 50 day moving average, creating a base. On that base and this little shakeout in this double bottom base, this institution uses its buying power to accumulate another 200,000 shares over a period of days or weeks. And they buy it right on the 50 day moving average. Why we sometimes will see support in a big stocks move. The stock actually breaks out, but then it comes back down to the pivot of the double bottom base and the institution uses that shakeout again to accumulate another 100,000 shares. Stock actually moves up, breaks out for good, above the $50 price level, and the institution and other institutions are now recognizing the stock is in an uptrend. Other funds are buying the stock to put buying pressure on the stock. Our fund here is accumulating another 50,000 shares on the advancing move. So the stock actually almost doubles and starts to consolidate in a choppy range. In that range, you'll frequently see shakeouts undercutting the previous low and sometimes all the way down to the 50 day moving average, which typically is support for a big model book stock. In this case, the mutual fund accumulates another 50,000 shares. And they do it twice on two shakeouts within the base. So at this point in the move, this institution has accumulated 750,000 shares and they've done it at an average cost of $45 per share, better than their target of $50 per share. So they have their position and their research says the stock could go much further. So the stock breaks out, goes into new high ground, comes back slightly, probably down to a short-term moving average like the 10 or 20 day. And the stock starts to make it a move to another new high. The institution feels it's, start to, it's time to start liquidating stock. So they use a shake in where the break to new high is sold into and this institution will sell 100,000 shares. Stock is under pressure in the short term, comes all the way back down and starts to break into the 50 day moving average. At that time, contrary to what you might think, this institution, the same institution, might jump back into the stock and buy 50,000 shares to support the stock at the 50-day moving average because they don't want the stock to break yet. So they buy back 50,000 shares. Stock recovers. Retail buyers are buying this bounce off the 50. 
and the stock starts to move to new highs at over $150 per share. At that point, you might see another analyst upgrade, inducing more buyers to take the stock. At that point, our institution here is starting to sell. They're starting to liquidate. They dump another 100,000 shares on the market. Stock continues to be strong. Late buyers into this move um, is another opportunity for our institutional growth fund to sell another 100,000 shares into strength. At that point, the buying and selling becomes balanced and the stock actually starts to come back with more uh, selling pressure. So as the stock starts to come back, they sell another 50,000 shares, which knocks the stock down and it starts to form a wide and loose, deep stage, late stage base. But what an institution will do, the stock at this point is absolutely obvious to everyone, including most retail investors. Many retail investors have probably made money on the stock at this point. So when they, they see another breakout, they want to jump on board because they feel confident it will work again. So what the institution will do, and this is the same institution that just sold 250,000 shares on the left side, they will actually buy 150,000 shares either in the base and break the stock out and force it to break out because they know it'll draw in buyers, particularly the retail crowd. So they buy this stock to push a breakout. At that point, the same institution might even put out an analyst price target of $280 a share. You can see this line is 200. And most retail investors will say, wow, I can get this stock for 200 and it's going to be maybe 280. So the last retail and FOMO buyers will jump into the stock. And that's when our institution will use those gains to start selling stock in a more aggressive fa fashion. So in this case, on the breakout, they're looking to sell 200,000 shares. They'll aggressively sell another $150,000 shares and they'll sell some more on the way down as we break the stock below the original pivot. Usually the break of the pivot will get one more reflex reaction, creating another shake-in somewhere around the original pivot where most investors have lost money, the ones that were buyer of the late stage base. Institutions then will get very aggressive about just simply unwinding their position. They'll sell 100,000 shares and another 50,000 shares to get out of their position. And usually that's enough if another institution does the same thing to break the stock through the 50 day moving average in volume, really signaling the, the story has changed. So in this particular case, when you run all the math, this institution sold all of their shares, all 750,000 shares at an average price of $185 a share. They bought it at 45. Say so they made over a 311% move. This is how institutions do it. It's one way institutions do it. And you need to be aware of this when you're a gross stock investor and you have your hands on a model book stock. You know, you need to understand when you're getting late in the move and you shouldn't be buying aggressively.